system says uh, a power meter. Yeah, this thing doesn't look very well packed, given it's pretty delicate instrument. So. This is twenty dB attenuator. Plug it in. very nice screen you can uh, see these lines on the camera but on the real screen they are not visible I think it's just the refresh rate uh, or the camera the frame rate of the camera at which it's recording so the flickering of the screen is not uh, in the actual device and yeah like uh, I have to plug in here in this female SMA connector to whatever frequency I want to measure and I'll here you can see that its a frequency range is quite huge so the good thing about is uh, this one is that it not only shows the frequency in the numbers um, it also shows you the power you know, over here in the dBm and all the amplitude and like that so I got this uh, attenuator over here I can set this attenuator uh, offset to uh, measure any high power signals and yeah so right now I don't have any transmitter device that I could use to measure this one and show you how this works but like yeah on the uh, this one looks very good and it's quite tiny device and it has got a huge range to measure so maybe in the future videos i'll be using this device to show how it works the nice and uh, very uh, uh, fancy display over here with the nice 
um, uh, color sc uh, screen I kept the blue color like it and all the control controls over here uh, yeah you can see over here that it's rising the 1 megahertz to 8 gigahertz that's a huge uh, power measurement or fire power measurement for such a small price yeah and the switch this is just the power switch you can turn on and off like that the next thing we have in here is this uh, the package says it's resistance so let's see what's inside it's not the resistance it must be some inductor or yeah some other things so oh it's not the resistance it's the one good fancy thing and this one is the mems microphone normally we the microphones that we use is uh, uh, has got some sort of a diaphragm right so classical stuff to detect the sound waves but this one is quite different so i thought to just try it out and yeah if i can focus it on so it is an mx5207 like that so this is a MEMS micro, uh, uh, microphone and it's omnidirectional and yeah I yet have to use it uh, don't know how it works but I think it's uh, more of a digital because it has got this uh, uh, serial clock pin or something and yeah serial data SD and then like that looks quite nice and i yet have to test that what is what's its sensitivity i don't think it needs any external circuit but uh, it might need some external you know algorithm to decode the serial data and yeah all the things so this one is omnidirectional and yeah we have to see how it performs so yeah got another package and it also says that this one is the resistance so yeah resistance this one is resistance so let's check it out and yeah this is definitely not resistance this one is uh, microcontroller so. so this is STM 32F 030C 86 ARM or simple STM 32 minimum system development board so you can see that we have this uh, little microcontroller over here ARM microcontroller and it has got the USB port and more looks like a Arduino Nano type thing. So yeah, I just wanted to give it a go. Yeah, maybe in future I wanted some high speed thing. So yeah, this looks nice. And um, yeah, it's just a, like a US $1.7 from AliExpress. Hmm. So as expected, this is uh, very badly packed. I would say even the shopper and this little bag it doesn't look very clean. So yeah, let's see what's inside. So first of all, we have got a couple of screws over here for the packing. 
yeah with the potentiometer the blue color and then we have this uh, instrumentation amplifier yeah I'm saying it right so this is the instrument yeah so this is the single supply instrumentation amplifier module so it doesn't require any negative supply like the other instrumentation amplifiers would and as you would know that this uh, sort of circuit is used to amplify very small signals so it is uh, this power supply of 12 volts and can work up to 10 kilohertz and yeah more details are here on the aliexpress page and we can see that we have pretty much everything self-explanatory we have the in ground in then output over here then we have the ground over here and hello volts over here yeah like and very nice small smt connectors and then we have this uh, power um regulator and the circuit it is using is let me maybe do some more. yeah it is uh, Eddie at Eddie six two three A. So yeah, I mean the future projects. We'll see how it works. So I'm going to download this part and here now we have. Uh, very good thing over here and this is the first time I'm going to try such a thing and it is called hmm. take off the bubble wrap A bubble red but all the bubbles are already gone I think so I think this is essentially just a shopper how funny is that yeah this is big indexers and yeah you would already guess it right the induction heating module that is module for the flyback uh, flyback transformers for high voltages so I am planning to use it for both for the flyback uh, transformers and yeah and for the induction heating too so essentially I would say there's no integrated circuit like a IC or any controller running over here. It's just the all the Mayet circuits and the resistances and with some power transistors over here. And those transistors. Yeah, just tune in the resonant frequency of the metal which is a uh, I believe we this output this is output so we connect a coil over here and yeah when we some put something inside that coil that uh, um, automatically tunes through the resonance and yeah puts in as much power as possible and for this one is like a, it says it's a 1000 watt but I 
I don't believe it's 1000 it's just could be like maybe 500 watts or something okay so it uh, just resonates and yeah and heats up the small metal so if you do want to uh, heat up any metal or anything the same thing can go uh, for the flyback tra trans transformers so just attach the uh, low voltage winding over here and yeah it will just uh, produce uh, alternating current and it will result into some high frequency high voltage output at the other end of uh, flyback transformer or converter and that's with this flyback transformer so it takes in up to 12 volts and gives out something like in thousands so yeah it's a one uh, 11 kV so yeah 11,000 volts or something so yeah I, I'll post the more specs in the picture given in there but uh, for now let's connect it and see that uh, whether this driver this induction heating driver which is also supposed to work as a uh, flyback uh, flyback driver if it's working or not with this one yeah let me put this thing aside and this over here yeah so let's get ready so very noisy maybe is driving this playback transformer and it's quite powerful so when I'm connecting this thing that's a big spark I must say trying to discharge it if in case if there's any capacitor inside so yeah it's, it's quite powerful spark and this this flyback is huge so I think this is a better look on the for the spark gap that I have it's like a, almost more than one centimeter like that And yeah, let me connect it. See that? So yeah, it, the circuit is definitely working and it's quite powerful. And as far as induction heater is concerned, I might have to find a big coil that is able to handle very good amount of current and of course at the input I need some stronger wires and a stronger power supply to get this thing going. Quite a good pack with all the values written on the top.
yeah looks like a very good quality first one is 4.7 mil milli henry and yeah so i got this pack of 200 pieces and we have 20 values over here and each is of uh, half watt or 0.5 watts 3.3 mil so the color encoding is pretty easy to read i guess so uh, so this is orange so orange is three orange orange and uh, what's that red so yeah and the movie henry red means two so two decimals it should be 3.3 .3. this is all red 2.2 One milli Henry, so one brown. Yeah. So just to check these, I have got two devices over here. One of these, uh, this one. I have already discussed uh, pretty much in in my previous video. You should see it on somewhere on the top. So let's try the first one. So the first one is somewhat uh, brown, green and black. So this is like 1, 5 and 0. So I believe this one should be Yeah, let's see what's the, what's this value. So first of all, I'll disconnect it. So this is a tester. Put it in number one. Close it and then. very well it says that it's a uh, 0.02 milli henry right uh, or it should be like 20 micro let's try it again yeah 0.2 mil let's try another one Point two milli Henry. So this looks a bit off, but I would expect this meter to show the reading in micro. It doesn't do that. Okay, so let's uh, grab a very small one. Like this one is a one milli Henry. Right? It should be very easy to measure and. it and this one so got it off from one mil and it shows uh, it is 0.98 milli Henry so pretty much good Yeah, the next run says that it's the one milli Henry spot on. Okay, so yeah, keep it aside, and let's try some smaller values. So I have got this. Uh, okay, so let's test it with some, with another device, the same one milli Henry. Right, so I got this uh, that device over here. Yeah, it's, uh,
ये connected to the power supply hit ok and show some initial value okay so I want the inductance over here and to connect another one Got to calibrate it. Connect these things over here, and this is a reading as one micro. So I just need to hit that. This is my zero value. Okay, now this is zero. So leads are calibrated. So let me let me find out this one it over here and this one shows the value of 8 to 8 micro so yeah, like it's uh, 14 milli henrys less than 1 milli henry. So yeah, we can say that this is going good. Okay, so I'll try the both of the devices. Right, so next uh, thing I want to grab is 680 milli henry, micro henry. So 680 micro henry. First try with this small tail buddy. Is 0.63 milli henry yeah so in other words it would be like 630 micro henry let's try another time yeah 0.63 milli henry and let's see what this one has got wow this one always less. This is 547 micro henry. This should be like 680 micro henry. Yeah, just to check on. It's calibrated already. But the leads show that this is the. Let's do it again. Five forty four. Okay, it's almost uh, one. Mm, it's like almost one mi micro henry is off the limit, and one micro henry of the actual value, and like less than one hundred of what this one shows. Let's try this other one because I bought these meters especially for the lower inductors, low all the very small values. So okay, so let's try first this one. This is the 150 micro handy. It shows one to one micro hand. Yeah, this is pretty much close. Let's 
Let's try this one. Point one four. So this one is more accurate than the this one, as per the values are concerned. Right, so because uh, this is the point one, it shows like point uh, one five mil, one four mil, which is one forty micro hand is. Let's grab another one. Just to see that if they are well manufactured. One one seven. And just a little body for the previous one, it was good. For this one, let's see. Point one four. Yeah, so these have pretty much similar value, except for a few millihenries difference, which is shown by this one. maybe this is the Chinese version and with all the long cables over here so it's very much possible that these values uh, are like off by 10 to 20 mil micro handles until unless it's super accurate for this one I uh, rely more on because it is all the SMD components uh, and yeah like with all the things uh, already very well calibrated So it's up to you to decide which one is uh, you gonna go for. This one in the previous video has like uh, a bit of range issues, but, but it's very good because it has a lot of other functions, like transistor testers, thyristors, and everything. While this one, this one can go very and then can um, can measure very low values. And yeah, and it's it's cheaper than this one.